Hello and welcome. For today's meditation, I'm using from a Lenten daily devotional called The Joy of Salvation. This is from using quotes from Henry Nouwen, the famous Christian author, and from the author of the devotional. The one I've chosen for today is fully forgiven. Let's begin with prayer. Oh God, we praise your holy name for bringing us here together into your presence. Thank you for loving us so much that you would give your only son to die, to pay with his own life so our sins can be forgiven. Amen. This devotional about forgiveness is actually about self-forgiveness. I have done some terrible things. I know in my head that when I confess any sin and decide to change, God forgives. But it's hard to forgive myself. If you also have trouble with self-forgiveness, picture your sins written in big letters on the chalkboard. God comes in with a great big eraser, one of those real long ones, wipes the slate clean. Your sin is gone forever, forgotten. Forgiven by God, but not always by me. Self-forgiveness is really hard, but if we believe and trust in God's mercy, who are we to contradict God? Let's see what the author and Henry Nouwen have to say about self-forgiveness. The chosen scripture is from 1 Timothy chapter 1. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. And then here is Henry Nouwen's quote from his book, Peace Work. The central message of the gospel is that God sent his beloved son to forgive our sins and make us new people, able to live in the world without being paralyzed by self-rejection, remorse, and guilt. To accept that message in faith and truly believe that we are forgiven is probably one of the most challenging battles we have to face. Yep, one of our most challenging battles. So the author then has a couple of paragraphs here for us. It is not easy to forgive others who have betrayed us or hurt us repeatedly by their words or actions it can leave lasting scars, but often the hardest person to forgive is ourselves. We may identify with St. Paul who readily admitted he was a sinner and a former blasphemer and persecutor of Christ, as in 1 Timothy. But if we keep hanging on to all of our guilt and remorse, it can cripple us spiritually and emotionally. To truly believe that we are fully forgiven by God is one of the hardest challenges we face as children of God. That's why we need to hear and to take heart, take to heart the precious message of the gospel over and over again. God is telling you that he sent his beloved son for you to make you a new person. 
a new person, able to live as God's free and forgiven child without being paralyzed by self-rejection and remorse. So don't keep carrying the crippling burden of your sin and guilt. Jesus paid for it all on the cross. Lay it all down at the foot of the cross and leave it buried there forever. We close with the sentence prayer of this devotional. Merciful God, we praise you for sending your Son to fully forgive our sins. Help us to truly believe it. Amen.